Okay, let's look at a slightly more complicated uh, example of how to evaluate functions. So they're giving you two functions now. They're giving you the function f that is defined as squaring x, subtracting x, and subtracting 5. And they're giving you a separate function, which they're calling g, that does uh, multiplies x by 9 and adds 5. Then they say find g of 1, right? So easy enough. We're going to take 1 and we're going to put it wherever the x is here, right? So g of 1 would be 9 times 1 plus 5. Simple enough. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14. So what that means is when I plug in 1, I get 14. Here's something we haven't really talked about is at the end of this, you could say that the output from function g when 1 is plugged in is 14. So this is an equivalent statement, which means when I write this, I can replace it with that, right? Because they're equal g of 1 is 14. So when so that's the first part of this, right? The second part looks like this. What does that say? That's a little bit more intimidating. If you look at all of this, on the outside here, we have the function f. What does f do? f takes its input, right? It squares it here. It subtracts it here. And then it subtracts 5. So what are we plugging into f when they want to know f of g of 1? And they write it like this. We're supposed to take g of 1 and make it the input into f. That's why I went through this and said g of 1 is equal to 14. This is an equivalent statement. And when two things are equal, I can put one in place of the other. So really what this is saying is instead of f of g of 1, now that we know what g of 1 is equal to, we can say f of 14, right? I've, repl I've put this in place of this entire statement. Not the 1, but the entire statement g of 1. Because remember that g of 1 is talking about the output from g when I plug it in 1. So f of 14, now I'm putting the 14 in parentheses wherever the x was in this function. 14 squared, I'm doing this in my head, but I think it's 196 minus 14 minus 5. That's equal to 177, 182 minus 5. Yeah, right. OK. So in other words, f of g of 1 is equal to 177. When I plug that into here, I get that as my output. So a little bit more complicated. We call this a composition, where the output from one function becomes the input to the other. We're going to discuss that later on in the in the unit. Okay, but they're really testing whether you understand what this means. So just to clarify, we're plugging one into g first, getting the output for that, and then replacing that entire statement here with that number 14.